have no idea how many amazing space events we've missed. For example, the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, which took place on December 21st last year. For a few moments, the planets appeared to merge into one bright object. That's why the conjunction was called the Christmas Star. This video was shot by an ordinary Nikon P1000 camera without any professional telescopes. This means that catching the planet's reunion in 2020 was as easy as watching Friends the Reunion in 2021. But if the old Friends episodes can be watched over and over again, you'll be able to catch a repeat of such a show by Jupiter and Saturn only after 799 years. To make sure you don't miss a single significant space show anymore, I created a special guide with 10 astronomical events that will happen in your lifetime. But you'll have to do a lot of preparation. In this video, you'll find out what your wife will see in the sky when she climbs Mount Everest, why you need to buy your boss a ticket to Russia, and what you'll need a saucepan for when a comet falls. So, how not to miss the biggest astronomical shows of your lifetime? Let's start with romantic space events. In 2022, you'll need to take a blanket, a picnic basket, your girlfriend, and go on an evening picnic. Lie on your back. Tell your girlfriend you'll show her something she's never seen before and point your finger at the starry sky. It's not every day you can catch the birth of a new star. Turn your head to your girlfriend for a kiss, and when she says, the moon is strange today, dump her and go away. You don't need a girlfriend who doesn't know anything about astronomy. How can you confuse the moon with the brightest object of the night sky near the Cygnus constellation? But never mind. You can do something like that again after 50 years or so. You deserve a better partner. Call Lady Gaga and ask her to the same picnic, but this time buy expensive wine, brie cheese, and the most ordinary astronomy binoculars. And when Lady Gaga asks, Sir, why did you bring me here? Tell her, I just thought you were the one who should never miss the birth of a supernova star. You must know your competitors. When all of the star's hydrogen fuel is used up, the core explodes, releasing a large mass into the atmosphere. You can see only 20% of this outburst with your own eyes, which is why binoculars are absolutely necessary. But here's the thing. Lady Gaga is unlikely to give you her number. Then so be it. You don't need anyone to enjoy space events, and you don't have to spend that much. Because here's what I have for you. Budget-friendly space shows for one. On July the 28th, 2061, you'll need a life jacket, a prison uniform, you never know, you might have it lying around at home, and a saucepan. Go outside with a camera, set a timer, and walk around with a pretentious face. You'll have a gorgeous Bruce Willis in Armageddon cosplay. Because in the background, you'll get the motion of Halley's Comet. It will be perfectly visible when it starts getting closer to the sun. Alternatively, on July the 28th, 2027, take the scotch tape, foil, needle, scissors, and a piece of paper. Find a discarded oblong box at home, cut out two eye holes, Stick a piece of foil on one of them, push the needle through the center, wrap the box so that no light can get into it, and look through the other hole, and you'll see a solar eclipse. In this century, the moon will completely hide the sun for a record-breaking 6 minutes and 28 seconds. Looking at the sun directly is very bad for your eyes, and your homemade device will make your observation as safe as possible. But if you saved up a nice bit of money to treat yourself to a luxury space weekend, buy airline tickets to Nagoya, Japan for 2040. Upon arrival, get a quick bite of sushi in the garden restaurant Tokugawa, the most expensive restaurant in the city. Take a couple of photos by the cherry tree and head to the science museum. 
There you'll find one of the world's largest planetariums, the only place where you can fully enjoy the breathtaking harmonic convergence. This planetarium's dome is 30 meters in diameter. The image accuracy is guaranteed thanks to the top-of-the-line Universarium projector, but the planetarium's capacity is only 350 seats. Hurry up and book yours. For enthusiasts of traveling far away, on September 15th, 2035, I suggest going on a tour of the Kola Peninsula. If you have money, the locals will organize the best holiday for you. They'll take you for a sleigh ride pulled by reindeer, introduce you to Sami culture, and brew mulled wine while you'll be admiring the northern lights. You might ask, but what's the space element of it all? None at all. It's just one of those days when there'll be the Mars opposition. It will be visible from any point on Earth except the circumpolar north. This event is obviously going to cause a huge stir. People will be flocking to the streets, trying to take selfies against the most beautiful planetary background. Therefore, if you want to get through the transit day without all that universal fuss, you'd better go far away and get some rest. But if, according to your wife, there's already too much rest in your life, filled with watching anime all day instead of finding a better job, organize an active astronomical vacation for your family. You'll need to plan a 60-day expedition. That's how long it takes to climb to the top of Mount Everest. Buy layered clothing, down padded jumpsuits, mittens, and trekking boots. You'll also need an insurance system, carbine, ice pick, trekking sticks, headlamps, mountaineering glasses, ski masks, a thermos, a solar panel, and sleeping bags. After only one kilometer, your wife will admit that you're not a couch potato and beg you to return home. But insist on going all the way, because at the top, you'll be able to get a better look at the supermoon. The closer the moon is to the observer, the larger it looks. After such a trip, your wife will be so exhausted that she'll not bother you with annoying questions for at least a year. And if she has some more questions, on November 22nd, 2065, take your wife and children to Ecuador. And no, don't leave them there. You and your kids can swing on the coolest swings in Baños. Swinging on them at 12.43 that day, you'll see Venus hiding Jupiter. Two celestial bodies will look like one star in the night sky, almost as it was with the Christmas star you missed. Your wife will melt, and you'll be back to living in harmony. But if you're looking for adrenaline, not peace, Here's the most extreme astronomical trips for the toughest ones. Your boss doesn't let you take a vacation, then arrange a vacation for him. Give your supervisor a ticket to Russia for autumn 2031. As soon as his plane lands in Moscow, text him stating that he'll have to get further by himself. If you go by car, you have to constantly follow the mile markers on the Don Moscow Rostov on Don Novorossiysk Highway and do not miss the exit at the 61st kilometer to the village of Kuzminskoye. If you go by train, you have to go from Moscow Pavletsky Railway Station to Baribino, then take a bus to the local hospital and then another half an hour on foot to the private Kadar Observatory. Yes, as you can see, getting to Kadar is a challenge, but it's the perfect place for astronomical observations. That's where he can admire the Leonid meteor shower. In the meantime, you're peacefully partying with your friends. Do you want some mystery and fear to boost your adrenaline? How do you like the end of the world on Friday the 13th? This is the kind of event you should definitely celebrate in a bunker. Because in 2029, that day the Earth will witness the passing of the asteroid 99942 Apophis, which is as big as the Empire State Building, or three and a half football fields. 
It'll be visible to the naked eye. It will become as bright as the stars in the Ursa Minor constellation. The odds of Apophis striking the Earth are 1 in 45,000. But if it eventually happens, it can cause an explosion up to 506 megatons or cause an earthquake with a magnitude 6.5 joules. Big buildings and subway tunnels will collapse and the ground will suffer huge cracks. If the asteroid hits the sea or a large lake, such as Lake Ontario or Lake Michigan, cities will be hit by a devastating tsunami. How to deal with waiting for these space shows? Can't wait to see all these great events. Well, all but the last one. You have time to prepare following my guide. But until then, in the comments, write a list of people you'll take with you and share this video with them. Well, except item 9. What if your boss is also subscribed to Riddle?